Hey y'all! Welcome back to Okay, enough of that. Anyway, so today I am going to be showing you what I use in this crazy mane that has a mind of its own. So if you see different videos and sometimes my hair looks tame and sometimes it looks crazy and sometimes it looks short and sometimes it looks long because my hair literally has a mind of its own. So, and it's crazy like me because, you know. Anyways, um, alright, and you'll notice I'm like the person that does this like all the time. Like all the time. Alright, so I, this is another super highly, highly requested video um, from people on Instagram, Snapchat, um, I'm trying to think. Facebook, pretty much anywhere. In person, I get comments about my hair all the time, almost every single day. Um, so yeah, I'm getting used to like looking in the camera and not the viewfinder because I feel like if I look in the camera, it's more like I'm looking right at you. But I'm still getting used to recording. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I use in my hair, my top favorite products. You'll see they're very affordable products. They are more on the natural side. Um, I try and stay away from like silicones and sulfates and stuff like that. But they're not like 100% organic, all of them, you know what I mean? But they're very, very natural products. Um, I have found that they were great on my hair. I have tried tons of products. Um, I stay away from like that cheapy, cheap stuff. Um, you know, where you can get them big, huge bottles of like conditioner because I find that... It makes me feel weird and the smell makes me sick like the perfumey scent makes me sick sorry I my hair is like in my eyes today I'm like that most today so anyways all right let's get into it because I'm talking too much okay ready all right so first product mm, okay so first product is curls can you see it uh, i hope that this shows this is the blueberry bliss control paste now what i like to use this for oh am i in the camera am i fitting yeah what i like to use this for is um my edges this is what it says smooth unruly edges add sheen um and it has argan oil and it's proven to encourage hair growth and also has organic blueberry extract let me just tell you it smells like a candy of some kind that I used to eat as a kid um and this is the what it looks like this is the consistency oh can you see let me see if I can rub it on my hands it's kind of like a gel consistency um but yeah I'm, girl I'm not gonna waste it <laughs> um so let me put like I'm just gonna show you what I typically do with it I usually use it just to smooth down the edges a little bit um and I like to like, you know, smooth down my baby hairs. I love this, especially for like up, up styles. Now when it's down, like my hair tends to just do whatever, like I said, but, um, it still works really great. And you can see it just adds shine, um, and more definition. And I, I like to use it, um, just more so as a, uh, edge control though. But I also have the passion fruit control paste which smells a lot different. It looks a lot different. <laughs> well, it looks the same, but it's a different color. Um, this one is supposed to help soothe dry scalps. It has mango and shea butter and proven to seal in moisture. It also has organic evening primer primrose. Um, and it's an award-winning product. This one I find has a bit stronger of a hold sometimes um, for my updos that I like to do. Um, when I, you know, like, if I wear my hair, like, back and, like, in a ponytail or a bun like I will smooth down the edges like like that you know what I mean and use like a dimming brush or something um, to brush it so yeah um all right so done with that I love this and I think that they run for about seven dollars something like that I'm trying not to make this video too long because I talk way too that much <laughs> sorry okay so let's get into um, Let's see, my cleansers that I use. Okay, so this is the cleanser that I've been using the last month. Um, it's the Camille Rose, which you can get at Target. Oh, by the way, all these products you can get at like Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. Um, yeah. Anyways, this smells... Oh, I love this smell. It reminds me of my childhood. Like, it really smells so good. 
Okay, um, and it's like, I'm trying to think. It's a sweet ginger, it doesn't really smell like ginger, but it's a sweet ginger cleansing rinse. It has castor and anise, aniseed oil, I don't know. Um, and it's supposed to be for all curl types and textures. I have found that this actually makes my hair feel super duper duper moisturized when I wash with it. Um, and again, it smells really good. It's in the teens, like the price wise. I think the price point is about, set, actually it might be between 11 and $16, I believe. Um, I should probably look that up. I will put that in the description for you. I'll look up all the prices of everything. Um, and I'll link you where you can get it and everything. So this has, let's see, ginger roots. and seed already said that. Um, castor seed oil. And it does have a few things in there that may not be considered, like, super duper duper natural per se um but i have found that it works great for my hair and then i also use um this line which i'm going to talk about this product in a minute i love this high porosity line and i use the cleanser that comes with this line too um but i don't know this one i just find actually helps to smooth my cuticles down it feels so soft almost like a co-wash if that makes sense so it says it's a cleansing rinse it doesn't say shampoo so maybe that's the reason with the castor oil in it okay so let's move on to my conditioner that i'm obsessed with omg so after i wash my hair ooh, i have some things that i left upstairs oopsies that's okay um after i wash my hair which in the shower i like to go in typically with like some type of a conditioner um such as the uh shea moisture jamaican black castor oil is it showing i feel like it's yeah, there you go I like to leave this in my, I put this in my hair. I like to go in with a conditioner of some kind when I get in the shower. Um, usually before I go straight in with this to detangle because I find when I use shampoo first, my hair mats up really bad. And if throughout the week, say like I got, you know, those little tangles at the end of my hair, um, like shedding hair that like balls up and clumps in with the curls, then what happens is I can get huge knots and end up having to cut my hair. In that spot because I am let it mat really really bad um, that's just something that I struggle with sometimes but anyways I find that I, when I go in with a conditioner a really really slippery conditioner of some kind um, such as this one which is the bomb let's see if I can get it to focus for you it's not focus. okay there we go the high porosity uh, moisture seal co-wash this has the ba baobab and apple cider vinegar it does not smell like apple cider vinegar at all it smells really really good um but yes it has that um super 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 bomb slip in it and i love this to co-wash my hair and to um get that slip in my hair and loosen up those tangles it like melts your tangles right um and then i'll go in with a cleanser and i usually do that probably like twice a month the cleanser process um, sometimes I do it every week but I try not to wash my hair or use any type of harsh like cleansing method versus like I use I try to use more of a conditioner because I find that it helps my hair keep the moisture in if that makes sense because um, my hair soaks up any type of moisture okay so next we have the I already talked about this briefly I'm sorry I don't mean next but anyways the avocado olive oil ultra moisture conditioner it smells so good mm, you can get this at Whole Foods you can get all this stuff at, um Target Whole Foods not Whole Foods sorry you can get this at Target and Whole Foods and Bed Bath and & Beyond and most I think like Wegmans and stuff like that um, but it's supposed to be for dry, damaged hair, deep conditions for deep luster, leaves your hair smooth and supple. It's got vitamins and omegas and it helps with splints, splits and breaks. I do not rinse this out. This is, I think, supposed to be like kind of like a rinse out conditioner. It doesn't really say, well, it does say to rinse it out, um, rinse thoroughly. I do not rinse it out, um, because I find that it really helps with curl refreshing I use this as a curl refresher all the time like in the next like the next day in the morning I put it on which you will see uh, in my last video I did my makeup tutorial 
yeah it's prettybomb.com um and it's it like gives your hair enough moisture without like re-wetting it because i find like if i re-wet my hair or use a product that almost wets it what happens is is it will say i did a braid out one it'll kind of like revert the braid out back to my natural curl pattern um like partly and then also because it the wet products don't dry quick enough it will like start to shrink my hair reshape and my hair is the type that like if it's wet and i'm like it's like this while it's wet it's gonna dry to that like shape and people ask me and say oh is your hair wet is, i mean did you cut your hair did you cut your hair no i didn't cut my hair my hair has a mind of its own and it likes to do its own thing so sometimes it will shrink up and that's why i love this product because it doesn't do that I'm trying not to make this video super long. Okay, so next let's get into my favorite deep conditioners. I absolutely love the Mongongo um, hemp seed one. This one is fantabulous. Um, and then there's also this one here. Can you see the deep treatment mask? And then there's also this one here that I just actually got. It's a new one and I'm actually loving it. It's a protein growth um, mask. Now, I try and go in with this one probably once a week and it's great to leave in overnight as well. Um, I love pretty much all of their conditioners. Their deep conditioners are amazing. Of course, they're not, I don't think they, they're as good as um, homemade ones like the avocado, if you make like an avocado deep treatment um, just organic avocados, mash it up with some, with your, a little bit of your favorite conditioner and coconut oil or some type of oil, your favorite oil and your hair will be so amazing and it actually helps with growth. Oh my gosh. When my hair was like super big and like longer and everything, um, I, that's what I was doing every single week. So I would like to get back into that. My goal is to grow my hair out really long again. Um, and yeah, so we'll see right now it's probably about like underneath my boobs <laughs> sorry i don't know what a, a proper and pro appropriate work would be but whatever so they all smell really really fresh um this one is really light nice i don't really like the smell of this one but it works really great the smell of it is like play-doh it's gross but it's empty as you saw so it works good um this one is like holy grail this was like one of the first organic i mean natural products that i used um, I will say, I guess they are kind of like natural, I mean organic, because on EWG, they have like um, the rating for the ingredients. And Shea Moisture like products and deep conditioners for the most part are usually like scored for like a one. Um, so yeah, but they each do different things. So this one has sea kelp and argon, and it's for healing, growth, and strengthening, and it's for dry, damaged hair. Um, it's got shea butter so yeah and then this one is for high porosity hair which I have so it really helps to seal in the moisture um, and it's got hemp seed oils and the protein and the, the apple cider vinegar so it helps with low low moisture retention so I love that and it helps to rebuild your hair and then this one um, has red clover and flaxseed um, and this is for wavy and curly hair, and it's got bamboo extract and maca roots. Um, and it says that the maca root invigorates and in energizes hair and improves the look of fullness. Red clover helps to reduce buildup and encourage full, healthy-looking um, hair growth. And bamboo extract boosts hairs, uh, whatever that is, flexibility. <laughs> yeah, so, okay we're gonna stop talking about it but yeah you guys should try them they're the bomb and that's what I do um I switch them up between each one you know what I mean but um these are my favorite products that I like and then of course not last but not least are some my favorite my top two oils that I like to use um for my hair I oh and I also have a homemade oil this is an Ayurvedic homemade oil that I made and I just put it in this Shea Moisture Pump um and I will do a video on that and I'll link below well I kind of made my own, but um, the ingredients were basically whole bunch of ayurvedic oils, castor oil, olive oil, coconut oil, um, ayurvedic powders, I mean, and like herbs. Henna, yeah, just a little henna, not a lot. 
Um, but yeah, I love coconut oil to add to my homemade deep treatments. Um, and I use them sometimes at night when I braid my hair up. I'll use a little bit, not a lot. Um, and I like it. It works pretty well. I've been using it for years. Um, and then this one is great for like the day. If you want an oil that's not going to make your hair feel super oily, it's not going to um, look like super greasy or like you got oil bubbles on your curls, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to really like this product. It smells fantastic. No, it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar. I keep saying that because I think people when they see it, they're like, huh? that is nasty. But yeah, you can see what it looks like. And um, I'm just going to show you because I don't, did I put it on today? I think I put it on earlier, but I'm not sure. So you can just lightly get the ends and I don't know if you can see that shine. But yeah, I already put it on, but you can kind of see like the difference here. More dull, shine tea. So I really love this. Um, I've gone through probably like three bottles with, no, this is, I think that's my, yeah, I think this is my third bottle um or second I don't remember but in the last like couple years but I absolutely love it or a year and a half I think yeah so yeah and then your hair smells super good and it looks great and it's nice and shiny and this helps um let's see what does it say that it helps with hold up mangango helps to coat and seal the cuticles for high porosity hair um and baobab protein has vitamin A, C, D, E, and F to fortify hair. Hemp seed oil um, moisturizes your hair while reinforces it and protects it. So these are my top favorite products that I love. Um, I use this Denman brush. Oh, sorry, it's got hair in it. I use this Denman brush um, to detangle sometimes or to smooth. It's really great for smoothing. And then I love these scrunchies. They actually don't really sell them anymore. They're at Target. And I can't remember who they're by, but they're at select Targets. And look at them. It's like a nylon kind of, but not really. It's a different material. But you don't have to worry about, like, it breaking. You don't have to worry um, about it not, like, stretching wide enough. Or if it's too thin, it can almost be like a rubber band and, like, you just hear it, like, shh, like, tearing. It doesn't do that. Um, and I love them. So, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find them. So, I'm, like, holding on to the last few ones I have. But anyways, if you guys have any that look like that, like, let me know. Because I want them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, like, what is it called? Um, top 10 or top 15 faves. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you next time on my channel. Deuces. Thanks, guys. Bye.